Welcome to the Coastal Kitchen. I'm Karen Meshures and today we're going to try something new. Today we're having Statler chicken stuffed with feta cheese, sauteed spinach, and onions, along with long grain brown rice, a beet salad topped with feta, and a balsamic vinaigrette, and bananas Baja rumba. For the chicken Statler, you'll need Statler chicken. You can call it airline chicken if you'd like. You can call it French breast chicken. It's the way it's cut and it takes a little while so I'm going to show you what the end result is. The chicken has the drumette. It is the breast and the breast has been completely deboned and I've cut a slit right in the center of the chicken breast. Now what we're going to do is let me get my fingers washed now that I've had my hands on the chicken. I'm going to turn my pots on. I've got one pot with one and a quarter cups of water and I'm going to put in a cup of long grain brown rice. Just going to throw in about a quarter of a teaspoon of salt and I'm going to bring that up to a boil. Want it in a little flat pan. After it comes to a boil, we're going to cover it. Now my chicken. I'm going to put some fresh cracked pepper on it. And the first thing we're going to do is put this in the hot pan, skin side down. And this also is a pretty healthy meal if you take the skin off. So it's up to you. It's how you like it. Okay, we've got this pan getting hot. I'm going to put in two tablespoons of olive oil. Let's just roll it around a little bit. All right. Want that to heat up just a sec. And then we're going to put our chicken in. We're going to salt it too just a little bit of salt because this dish has a stuffing of feta cheese and sauteed spinach. So we don't want it too salty because the feta has a fair amount of salt in it. All right, skin side down, hear that sizzle? We're going to let this cook for about four minutes on each side and while it's cooking on that side I'm going to put my salt and pepper on the upside. This is a one pan dish which is really great because it goes from the frying pan into the oven in the same frying pan. So make sure you use a heavy, heavy uh, oven proof skillet and we're going to let that go for just a minute. All right, we're starting to boil on the rice. It's nearly there. I've got my cover. And I think that I'm going to get a little splatter guard for this chicken. I'm going to cover my rice and turn it on low. We're going to leave the rice on low for about 35 minutes. All right, while that's working, let's take a short break and hear a word from our sponsors. ATMC TV and the Coastal Kitchen would like to say thank you to our sponsors at Food Lion, your neighborhood grocery store. Since 1957, Food Lion has been offering the highest quality products at low prices with great service. Swing by your local Food Lion today to find all the ingredients needed to make the meal featured on this week's show. Welcome back. While I've been waiting for my cooking, chicken to cook, I have already turned it to the bottom side. I've moved my rice pot back and turned it on low and I've cut up my onions because my onions are going to go in with my spinach into the same saucepan. But what we're going to do, this is just about ready. I'm going to let these chicken breasts rest for just a few minutes. You can see almost 
right with that. And we're just going to let these rest. Don't they look beautiful? Okay, this is going down to low. And what I am going to do is put in my onions. Want them to cook a minute. We're going to get just a tiny bit of that residue from the chicken. My rice is working. Let's get those all in there. Let's put our spinach in. This is baby spinach. It's been pre-washed and I've taken the tips off of the spinach. Now this goes a long way. It looks like a whole lot, but you know how spinach is. It wilts down real fast. Oops. Let's throw that right back in there. And I just want to saute this just in the same amount of oil that we cooked our chicken in. Give it a nice, pretty flavoring. And I think that I'm going to take just a smidgen of water so it steams a little bit. Get all those juices going. This is one of my husband's favorite meals because it fits on one plate. He's got a Greek heritage and so with the feta cheese and spinach, he really enjoys this dish. Okay, got that done. Now I'm going to get my bowl with my feta. I've got about a half a cup of feta cheese just crumbled. And I'm going to put my spinach right on top of the feta with my onions. Get it all in there. Okay, let's turn this off now. All right, I'm just going to mix this up because this is the stuffing that I'm going to use inside the slit of my chicken. You can use any kind of stuffing you want. If you'd like a cornbread stuffing, bread dressing stuffing, you can put anything in the middle that is the way you like it. Okay. Doesn't that look great? Nice and cheesy. And I'm going to get my chicken breasts over here. Let's put this here so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. I'm going to take this chicken breast and open it up a little bit. And take a scoop full. Place it in the slit. And I'm going to get as much in there as I can stuff in. And now I'm going to go to this one. It's a little messy, but it tastes delicious. And it looks pretty when it comes out of the oven. All right, let's get all that spinach. Some people like to put their slit on the side, but I think it's a much prettier presentation with the slit on the top. All right, that looks just about right. Let's rinse these fingers off. Now I'm not going to put any more salt on there because of the feta cheese, okay? We're going to take this back over to our skillet. Put it right back in. And we're going to pop it in an oven that's 350 degrees for about 15 minutes. We just want to make sure that chicken is done. And if you put a thermometer in the 
meat, it should register at 160. That'll make sure that it's the right temperature. Okay, we've got the rice going, we've got the chicken in the oven, and I'll be right back in just a few minutes. ATMC TV and the Coastal Kitchen would like to say thank you to our sponsors at Holden Brothers Farm Market in Shalote for supplying the fresh produce on this week's show. For over 25 years, the Holden Brothers Farm Market has specialized in the freshest locally grown produce on their 250 acres in Shalote. Swing by their indoor market located near Mile Marker 10 on Highway 17 or check them out online at HoldenBrothersFarmMarket.com. Welcome back. Along with our Statler chicken, we're going to have a relatively healthy salad. The ingredients for the beet salad are We've got butter lettuce, and the butter lettuce I like to take and break small bite-sized pieces. Lettuce should always be broken into bite-sized pieces. Your guests shouldn't ever have to use a knife to cut their lettuce. So let's get this finished up here. And this salad is very simple, but it's really delicious. To go along with the feta in our chicken, I'm using feta cheese and beets. Okay, looks like this is getting done. I'm just gonna take regular pickled beets, and I like to pickle my own, but I'm using some store-bought today. So make it the way that you like it. Love beets. This taste is so t tangy and uh, wonderful that it really enhances the flavor of the chicken also. Okay, just a little bit of the juice. As I said, very simple. And now we're going to take some feta and I'm just gonna get me a handful. Take it and crumble it right over the top. The flavors are so wonderful together, really nice and creamy and I've got a balsamic vinaigrette, white balsamic vinegar, a little bit of olive oil, some salt and pepper and I put a little bit of Italian seasoning in. Just give it a good shake and we're gonna pour a little bit over as a drizzle. And your salad is already finished. See how quick and easy? It's wonderful and it tastes great. Okay, got that done. Now let's go over to our dessert. Oh, I've got bananas Baja Rumba. For bananas Baja Rumba, you'll need This is a real easy dessert. It only, only has about, I'd say, 160 calories. And so it's really how you uh, do it that makes it uh, diet friendly. Uh, we're gonna use three bananas, and this should serve four people. We're going to use yogurt, frozen yogurt. If you'd like ice cream, use ice cream. If you'd like ice milk, use ice milk but we're gonna take these bananas, get them all peeled, and I'm gonna slice them into about mm, three quarter inch pieces, just something nice so you get a good bite full. Want it to hold up under the heat. We're going to um, make a sauce. After we've made the sauce, we're going to throw the bananas in. Real simple. This is simple, easy, and diet friendly. Just about as quick as you can get. Okay, I've got my bananas all chopped up. Let me grab a little. Okay, I want two long matchsticks. Okay, I'm going to start my 
match right there. Don't want this to Okay, got it going. The butter is melting. I've got a couple tablespoons of butter. I am going to put in apple juice, about a half a cup. I've got eight tablespoons of brown sugar. And this is all going to go in together. And we're going to stir. I'm going to take it down a little bit, medium high heat, want the sugar to melt. Mm. Nice and beautiful caramel color. It's going to make those bananas taste wonderful. Okay, butter's just about melted. Sugar's just about melted. And I'm going to get my bananas. Let's get a couple of handfuls here. Just throw them right in your pan. We're going to let this cook about five minutes. We're going to put a little tiny bit of nutmeg on the top. And once I get all the bananas in, I'm going to sort of flip it around so everything gets covered with the mixture. All right, all the bananas are in. Let's rinse my hands off. Get a little bit of fresh ground nutmeg. Just a couple good little twists. Just swirl it around. And it's already starting to reduce. The last step, which will happen in just a minute, is some rum. If you choose not to put rum in it, it's okay. But the rum gives it a great flavor. It makes it more like bananas. Foster originally was um, made in the older days. So we, go we are going to put two tablespoons in, but we're not gonna put it in until we take it off of the fire. Okay, this looks great. Look at those bananas. All right. Whoops, let me do one more thing here. I'm going to put two tablespoons of rum in. And take my long match. I'm gonna stand back. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's a lovely flame burning off the alcohol. It's bubbling. Smells wonderful, and as soon as that alcohol is burned off, I'm going to blow it out. Just a little more. Perfect. Now, let me go get my yogurt. All right, I've got it. I'm going to show you a little trick. Let me grab an ice cream scoop. I have taken a tea towel, wrapped it around my ice cream container, make a knot. You know how you get finger freeze when you start to scoop ice cream? Well, this prevents that and it also keeps the carton nice and steady. All right, now let's take some of these wonderful bananas right on the top of the ice cream little bit of syrup. Let's put a couple more bananas on there too. Okay. Easy, fast, delicious, and not too many calories. Only about 160. 
So this will be ready for our dessert. Let's check our chicken because I think it's about time for it to come out. Oh, looks perfect. Looks perfect, but let's check it with my thermometer because I want to make sure it's nice and done. I'm going to put it in the deepest part and it's coming up. It's nearly there. Okay, let me take a peek at my rice. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Let's turn that off and let me grab a plate. I think I've got one right over here. Let's move this to the other side. Want to get a big spoon. I'm gonna let this chicken rest for about 10 minutes and we're going to do that before we serve it. The rice is ready. You don't have to cook rice as long as they say in the package. Make it a little bit stronger with the water and just let it cook. Okay, we're almost there. And take this out, put that on this plate, and I'm up to 160. Let's just put this on another plate for the moment because I'm going to make one more thing to add to this dish. Okay, perfect. Perfect. We're going to take about two tablespoons of butter. Put in the lovely frying pan. It's going to pick up all those juices. A little bit of onion left in there. Okay, I'm going to get just a touch of white wine. Use any kind that you drink, okay? Here it is. Let's just put a splash in. It'll get all those drippings. Mmm, look at that steam. Turn it off. And we've got a pretty healthy gravy. Okay, let me get a smaller spoon right here. And we're just going to have a little bit of this healthy gravy over the top of the rice, over the top of the chicken, and we're ready to go. Let's serve this with some rolls. And you've got a complete meal. Thank you for joining us at the Coastal Kitchen. You can always check us out on Facebook. And we're at atmctv.com. You can get our recipes there or contact us with any questions you may have. Have a great day. ATMC TV and the Coastal Kitchen would like to say thank you to our sponsors at Holden Brothers Farm Market in Shalote for supplying the fresh produce on this week's show. For over 25 years, the Holden Brothers Farm Market has specialized in the freshest locally grown produce on their 250 acres in Shalote. Swing by their indoor market located near Mile Marker 10 on Highway 17 or check them out online at HoldenBrothersFarmMarket.com. Let me tell you a little bit about how I cut my French breast. I have the breast and the wing right here. I've used two knives. I've used a heavy knife to cut it away from the thigh and the leg after I halved the chicken. Now I've got the whole wing here right now and I'm going to take this knife and I'm going to cut through the bone so I can make my little drumette. This little drumette is going to stand up. This is what makes it airline chicken, statler chicken, and I've taken a boning knife 
or a fillet knife, just like you'd fillet a fish. And I have cut all the bone away except for this drumette bone. I've taken all of the ribs so it's a boneless breast. I've cut down the center to make my pocket. So after I cook it, I can stuff it. We're going to cook the skin side down after it's been salted and peppered. It takes me about 15 minutes to cut each breast or cut a chicken up. Um, it's a little time consuming taking the bones out, but it's not hard to do after you practice a few times. It's a great way to fix a special dinner and if you're wanting to sp fix one for that special someone, this is a great thing to have. They'll love it. Now, after I've got my breast done, I'm going to make sure that I get to use the rest of my chicken. And you can see, I'll just give you a little show of how we can cut this bone out. I'm going to take a little bit of this fat away. Want to keep some of the skin. And I'm going to gently put this underneath the bone. I'm going to come up that side, pull it a little bit out of the way, and then I'm going to come up the other side. I want to retain as much meat as I can. I don't want to cut off anything that I don't have to cut off. Just give it a nice slice across. And we're going to cut just a little there. We're going to cut through this bone, cut that off. Turn it on this side and you've got another way you can stuff your chicken breast. You can put stuffing right here, close it up with the skin. Take a little toothpick if you'd like. And you've got a beautiful leg thigh that you can stuff, wrap the skin around it, even use a toothpick if you have to, not really necessary, but you've got a great idea of stuffing a piece of chicken here. You've got your airline Statler or French breasted chicken. Wonderful, wonderful recipe to try. You'd be surprised how juicy and delicious it is. For a get fit workout? Are your weeknights too hectic to catch the Westburns of football? Do you find yourself missing all your favorite ATMC TV shows? Well, now you don't have to. ATMC TV is airing all their latest shows on demand. Stop, pause, fast forward, or rewind. Watch your shows on your time. Tune to Channel 1 to see shows like Brunswick Biz, Get Fit, The Coastal Kitchen, and more. Stay connected to beautiful Brunswick County with ATMC TV on demand. Brought to you free by ATMC. Where does he work? AMC Wireless.